What's up, folks? We got ourselves some pretty significant news regarding one of the most notorious and biggest fraudsters uh, known to man since Bernie Madoff got caught for running his gigantic Ponzi scheme in which tons of people lost billions of dollars. I am talking about Sam Bankman Freed. So the news just came out that prosecutors have decided to drop another charge against Sam Bankman Freed. They are dropping a campaign finance charge against Sam Bankman Freed. The charge stems from the fact that the former billionaire illegally directed associates to donate millions of dollars to political campaigns. For those who don't remember, he donated millions upon millions of dollars uh, to both sides of the aisle. He donated millions of dollars publicly to the Democrats, and then he donated millions of dollars privately through this thing called uh, dark pools or dark money. Dark money is what it's called to the Republicans. So he did donate on both sides, but they are now dropping that charge. So they are no longer going after him. Uh, for donating money to political campaigns. Uh, there are a lot of people who have their speculations as to why that's happening. We're going to get to that a little later in the video. But according to CNBC, uh, the Department of Justice prosecutors told the judge that they were dropping the campaign finance related charges because they failed to obtain permission from the government of the Bahamas for that charge when Sam Bankman-Fried was extradited from the island nation in December. Now, I know when I read that, that doesn't really make sense, right? So you're telling me that the reason why you're dropping the charge is because you failed to obtain permission from the Bahamas? Since when does the United States answer to anything that the Bahamas has to say? I mean, for crying out loud, did you see the things that the United States were doing back when they were trying to get Edward Snowden? You ever seen things like that? Like, the United States has done some crazy things to bully other nations to make them do what they want uh, when it comes to things that they really want to get done. So, very interesting. But uh, this also isn't the only charge that has been dropped. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Manhattan previously dropped another charge against Sam Bankman-Fried for violating anti-bribery statutes on the exact same grounds. So we are now starting to see several charges get dropped against Sam Bankman-Fried. Uh, however, it is important to note that Sam Bankman-Fried does still face 12 charges in two different trials, including seven counts of defrauding or conspiring to defraud customers, uh, investors, and lenders, and then five charges, including form uh, bribery conspiracy, bank fraud conspiracy, and then securities fraud. He's got all these different things. Now, I do want to go ahead and bring up this tweet right here from somebody named Meta Lawman because I actually really like uh, the way he thinks. And this tweet is actually pretty important and goes into this video. So he says... Uh, the Bahamas is dependent on U.S. trade and tourism for its survival. It would take one phone call from Attorney General Merrick Garland to get the Bahamas to consent to prosecute Sam Bankman-Fried on a campaign finance charge. Wonder why that didn't happen. So that's where it gets interesting because I do see a lot of Republicans on Twitter who are kind of blaming the Democrats and kind of alluding to the fact that there may be some corruption going on, which I actually kind of agree. It makes a lot of sense. It, it definitely makes sense that the reason why they are dropping this charge is to... Uh, protect the politicians who could possibly be implicated or exposed in this. That's kind of what I think uh, regarding this entire thing. But honestly, I truly don't know. The bottom line is Sam Bankman-Fried is one of the most notorious fraudsters in world history. And even though he's getting some of the charges dropped, make no mistake about it, they absolutely want to put him in jail for the rest of his life. And at the very least, they absolutely want to, they absolutely want to put him in jail for a long time. So even if he doesn't get life in prison, even though I think he should, he's definitely going to get at least 20 uh, to 30 years in prison. I truly 100% believe that. So the way that I look at it is you got to let the criminal justice system play out. Let the thing go on. You know, they're going to drop their charges for whatever reason. I don't know why they're dropping these charges. I think those charges should continue to go. They should not be dropped, but whatever. You know, you know, I think their BS excuse on how, oh, well, we're dropping it because of the Bahamas. Like, what does the Bahamas have to do with anything? Like, let's be real. If you really wanted to skirt over this whole issue with the Bahamas, you could easily do so and still charge them for the campaign finance stuff. I think there's a deeper reason why they're not charging them, no doubt about it. But make no mistake about it. You know, there's some people on Twitter who are trying to spin it as if, oh, well, you know, he might completely get off because he's paying all the politicians off. I think that's complete and utter nonsense. I don't think uh, that's going to happen at all. I think the politicians are 100 uh, percent hell bent on getting this guy put behind bars, regardless of the fact that he donated to many of their campaigns. They don't care nothing about that. This guy is seen now in the public as public enemy number Number one, he is the scum of the earth. He is the worst of the worst. He scammed a bunch of people. They still can't fully find all the funds. Somehow he's able to pay all his lawyer fees. God knows how. Like, 
there's just so much going on, but I 100% think they're absolutely going to get him. Uh, I don't think he's going to get away from this. I do not think he's going to get off scot-free. If he does, then I will be completely wrong, and I will be absolutely insane. But I highly don't – I really don't think that's going to happen. I think he's going to go to jail for a very long time, and I think the United States government is going to make an example of him. So that's really all I got for you guys. Uh, and, yeah, that will pretty much conclude today's video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.